Hey guys, so similar to our last tutorial, I'm going to do a new tutorial today talking about how to buy, buy Bitcoin with a credit card. I know a lot of people have been asking about that. It's pretty much basic to how to buy Bitcoins with PayPal. So I'm going to go over it again, only this time with the credit card aspect. So what we're going to need is to use this site called Virvox, which is the virtual world exchange. It's basically a website set up to trade for Second Life Lindens what's called SLL here on the site. This is a virtual currency for Second Life. We're going to use that money in order to buy Bitcoins. Since it's currently not that easy to buy Bitcoins directly through credit cards, this site is going to help us to do this. So if you don't have a username and a password on the site, what you need to do is click on this link, not register yet, here, and fill out your information, uh, username, email. Here when it said, where it says virtual world grid and the avatar name, just leave it at that, don't change it. Just fill out your other information here um, and then agree to the terms of services and click register at the end. Now, once you register, you're going to get an email from Beervox giving you a temporary uh, password for this website. I strongly suggest changing this password um, because you're going to be transferring money throughout the site. And once you got this email, just log into Beervox and we'll take it from there. So now I'm inside Beervox and if you want to change the password like we talked before, you can do it here and change settings, but if you want, just want to go ahead and uh, buy your Bitcoin with the credit card, what we're going to do is this. First of all, we're going to deposit money, and this is what we're going to use the credit card for. So you click here on deposit, and then you scroll down to where it says you can either do this with credit or debit card through money bookers. I usually do this uh, through using PayPal. So you scroll down here and just uh, type in the amount of money you want to deposit. You're going to have a max limit depending on how long you've been a VRox member. I've been so for quite a while, so I have a, probably a larger max limit than you. If I go to US dollars, you see 390 US dollars. So let's say I want to deposit that. I just click checkout with PayPal, and I'll be moved to PayPal. Now, it doesn't matter if I have or don't have a PayPal account. You've seen I meant what. If I do have a PayPal account, um, then what I can do is just fill it out here and log in and pay with PayPal. If I don't have a, a PayPal account, on the other hand, I can just click here, don't have a PayPal account, and I can pay with a, with a credit card. So I click on this link, and now you see I can just fill out this name and all of my information here, and choose a password, and basically it will allow me uh, to pay with my credit card. Now once I pay with the credit card, I'll be moved back into Viavox, where I can complete my purchase. For the sake of this example, uh, if I've paid with a credit card, I'll now see a balance showing up here in the US dollars. Currently, I don't have a uh, dollar balance because I didn't deposit anything more. But if you follow the, the steps before correctly, you'll see a US dollar balance. It might take a bit of time for me to process this, but it doesn't take more than two hours. Once you have the US dollars here, all you need to go is go to the USD to SLL exchange and basically buy SLL here. So now you see it doesn't let me buy enough uh, SLLs because I don't have any USD in my account and once you buy SLLs for example let's say I bought you 136 SLLs so and that's kind of a small amount of money because you can see one dollar equals around 230 uh, uh, SLLs but let's say you bought more let's say you bought in a uh, in three hundred dollars worth of SLLs and you'll have something like a few ten of tens of thousands of SLLs all you do is go to SLL to BTC and then exchange that SLL into BTC. Here it tells me that I can only buy zero BTC because again I have a small amount of money here but I could have, if I had more SLLs here I would have said I want to buy let's say four bitcoins click next and then these bitcoins would be shown up in my account. Now it's, it's important to remember that each of these transactions have a, has a fee meaning once you transfer your US dollars to SLLs you're going to have a fee and once you transfer your SLLs to, Bitco to bitcoins you're going to have a fee. After you finish this uh, you're going to see the bitcoins here in your account and if you want to uh, withdraw them you can just click on withdraw here on the left side and you can just go to withdraw to Bitcoin and it will show you give you basically uh, ask you where you want to send your Bitcoins to uh, it will tell you please insert your uh, uh, e-wallet address and once you do that the Bitcoins will be transferred to your new wallet so that's basically it. pretty much similar to how you buy Bitcoins with PayPal you can also watch that movie if you want a bit more uh, detail explanation with all of the all of the screens. Here I just want to do a quick overview for people who wanted to buy Bitcoins with credit card and didn't know exactly how to do that. 
So thanks for watching and have a great day.